Army scientists and engineers began a two-day effort to expand collaboration with industry, academia, and other government institutions with an open house at the U.S. Army Research Laboratory November 16 at Adelphi, Maryland. More than 500 potential partners toured facilities located just outside Washington, D.C., met with Army researchers, and explored opportunities through the lab's Open Campus Initiative. The Open Campus business model brings Army researchers into close contact with their civilian counterparts working in science and technology by opening its doors to fresh ideas and partnerships, officials said. We need to be more connected as the world's changing. We need to be more connected globally. We need to be more connected to our own ecosystems of um, industry uh, and, and more broadly across government. Dr. Melissa Flagg, Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Research, told visitors in a keynote address that collaborative efforts serve the national interest. We as a country send our men and women into harm's way, and we owe it to them as a country, as a community, to try to make sure that they can accomplish the mission and come home safe. Major General Cedric T. Wins, Commanding General of the U.S. Army Research Development and Engineering Command, told visitors about Army Chief of Staff General Mark A. Milley's vision for the future. He said that readiness of the force is the number one priority, and then getting ourselves ready in terms of our future force uh, is his second priority. Wins praised Army researchers for their foundational role in the area of technology. You set the foundation for all the uh, research development and engineering centers to take on uh, what you all are developing for the soldier, to protect, to empower, and to unburden the soldier. Uh, you all are foundational for that, uh, to begin to develop technologies that will allow soldiers to go off into combat and to be protected and to be able to fight and win. Over the two-day open house, Army scientists and engineers will showcase potential areas of collaboration where outside researchers can work side by side at the lab and also become part of the broader DOD network. For ARL-TV, I'm David McNally.